Hey what's up guys it's Charles here from Technological and in this video I'm going to be going over a comparison of the HTC One X Plus and the Galaxy Note 2. Now these are possibly the best two smartphones that you can currently get uh, and they have very similar specs but they do have quite a few differences as well so now I'm going to be hopefully helping you guys make the decision uh, that you're having a hard time uh, making when you're going for one of these two phones. So first I'm going to talk about size which is a very large factor in the differences between these two. Uh, now the HTC One X Plus is going to come out at 135 grams um, with the uh, dimensions of 134.36 by 69.9 by 8.9 millimeters and obviously the bigger Galaxy Note 2 is going to be 183 grams which is a little bit heavier and that's considerable considering uh, it is much bigger as well as the dimensions which are 151.1 by 80.5 and 9.4 millimeters so next I'm going to talk about screen which is another notable difference between the two now they both do have 720p displays but the HTC One X has 312 pixels per inch as opposed to 267 pixels per inch that's on the Note 2 now they do both have Gorilla Glass and the obvious difference is that the HTC One X Plus has a 4.7 inch display while the Note 2 has a massive 5.5 inch display and another thing to note is that the HTC One X Plus actually has a laminated Super LCD 2 display uh, while the Note 2 only has a Super AMOLED display and from what I've seen I've seen that the Super LCD Two display has been a little bit of better colors and just looked more vibrant but that's just my opinion you'd have to look at it yourself to uh, decide that one now next is the processing power now both of these are crazy at processing HTC One X Plus has a Tegra 3 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor while the Note 2 also has a quad core processor but it's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz with an Exynos 4412 now from some testing I've seen that the Exynos has come up on top uh, but you know it all depends uh, on overclocking and all that and sometimes you'll see that other devices with uh, the same processor like the uh, Tegra 3 would score higher than another Tegra 3 so it really does depend now the graphics that I've seen are better on the Tegra but it all depends to be honest and the big difference actually in this situation is not actually the processors it's the RAM the HTC One X Plus only has one gigabyte of RAM while the Note 2 has uh, two gigabytes of RAM which is a really large amount of RAM uh, now next we're going to be talking about the cameras on each of these now they both have 8 megapixel cameras. Uh, the HTC One X Plus has an 8 megapixel camera with image sense, which is uh, one of HTC's things. And they both uh, shoot 1080p video uh, as well with the with the front facing camera. Sorry about that. Uh, the HTC One X Plus actually has a 1.6 megapixel camera with image sense as well. And the Note 2 actually has a better one that is 1.9 megapixels. Now next is battery and this is also a very notable difference where the HTC One X Plus has a 2100 milliamp battery while the Galaxy Note has 1000 more milliamps which would be 3100. Um, so that's a big difference now that does not 100% mean that the Note 2 is going to last much longer because obviously it's powering a much larger display which means that battery life won't be great but when you have such a large device it's easier to fit a larger battery you also have to note that so next is storage now the HTC One X Plus has 64 gigabytes of internal storage and I do not think that there uh, are any other devices or storages that you can purchase with this now you probably would want to get the 64 gigabyte anyways because this does not have a micro SD card slot uh, because you cannot take the back off. With the Galaxy Note 2 you can purchase 62, 32, or 64 gigabyte uh, and you can also expand it with a micro SD card which is up to 64 gigabytes so you can double that 64 gigabytes with the Galaxy Note 2. Now hopefully you won't need that much though but if you do it that works as well. Uh, next are the network or the networks. For the HTC One X Plus it has a GSM of 850, 900, 1800, 1900 MHz, uh, UMTS 850, 900, 1900, 2100 MHz, and the data is LTE, HSPA+, UMTS, and Edge, which is also known as 2G, and the carriers, or the carrier I should say, is AT&T, but it can also be unlocked. 
Uh, with the Galaxy Note 2, it has a, the exact same bands, uh, but it will be coming to Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and US Cellular. So you have much more options there with the Note 2, which is a pretty good uh, reason to purchase this phone over the HTC One X in some reasons. But you can purchase these or get these unlocked. Um, you can also get the international version, which comes factory unlocked as well. Next is the connectivity. Now, the HTC One X Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 have the same exact things of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, NFC, and micro USB 2.0. Next is the operating system. Now, something that you will see is that they both do have Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. But the HTC One X Plus has an HTC Sense UI, while the Galaxy Note 2 has a TouchWiz UI. Now, this isn't anything that's major with the OS, but it really depends on your personal opinion on whether or not you prefer HTC Sense UI or the TouchWiz. You'll have to do some research on that because it's all opinion and I cannot tell you which one is better. Next are the extras, and this is um, something that's not very extremely important but it's something you might want to know as well uh, HTC One X Plus comes with Beats Audio which is not the headphones and it will not be bundled with the headphones any longer while the HTC One X actually did come with the Beats headphones uh, but the Beats Audio is basically improves the quality of your headphones uh, any headphones uh, and the Galaxy Note 2 actually has an S Pen well you might think this is just a stylus it actually does a lot more you can check out some other videos of that on how that performs Next is probably the most important thing to most of you is uh, the price. Now these aren't officially announced because these are not available in the US yet. Now there are some international versions of the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, the HTC One X has not been, plus I should say, has not been released international uh, yet. While the estimate that I have been seeing are they're both going to be around the same price of 750 for the 16 gigabyte unlocked of the Galaxy Note 2 and around 750 for the HTC One X Plus. Now it might be a little bit more considering it has a 64 gigabytes, but we don't know yet, and they're probably going to be around 300 bucks on a contract. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, I appreciate it. If you gave it a thumbs up, comment what you think is a better device. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye again.